Welcome to the Bladed Broadcast, episode three. Just kidding. This this thing doesn't even work. I don't think. Is this working? I don't know. Anyways, you guys are going to love this episode. It's going to be fantastic. I've got a phenomenal knife thrower that I'm going to be featuring and a phenomenal knife maker. Anyways, let's uh, let's just let's just get this out of here. So let's start out with saying I am glad you guys are here. Thank you for being a subscriber to my channel. I'm very happy you all are enjoying the content. Um, I appreciate everybody's positive feedback and support for all that I do. I absolutely love what I do on all aspects of it, um, whether it's here on YouTube or over at Instagram or now. I also created a, uh, a Facebook page, The Bladed Broad. Go there, like, follow and you'll see a lot of uh, a lot more of my content there on a daily basis just like my Instagram um, than you will here on my YouTube channel so uh, anyways I just wanted to make sure I got you all involved um, knowing all that information so definitely go check that out I will put all that information down below in the description as well so that you guys can click on it and then just go to whichever social media outlet you want to and uh, go from there but um, one of the things I wanted to mention too is that um, in my descriptions I try to on my YouTube videos I try to put as much information um, for everybody to see about the video itself including the music I use the knives I use the knife makers any throwers that I um, tell you guys about I pretty much try to make it as detailed as possible so you don't just have to watch the video and kind of feel like okay well where do I go from here all that information is always down below and you should always check that on not just on my channel but on everybody's channel um, I know some people don't really use the description too much but I find it to be a very useful tool so you guys should definitely look at those I also wanted to throw this out there um, I've been thinking about putting together some bladed broad merchandise uh, maybe some ball caps t-shirts I've even played around with some stickers and some decals like for your vehicle or something um, kind of have a few ideas but I thought I'd ask you guys if there's anything that you guys would be more specifically interested in um, because I definitely want to start doing some of that and creating some things and getting that out there I know a few people have asked me about t-shirts but um, I've just been kind of slow going on that for some reason I don't know I kind of try to do as much as I can when I can and that's kind of been on the back burner, but I definitely want to bring it to the front of the line one of these days soon. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that or if you have any ideas for me. I'm always open to uh, listening to all that stuff. So. Check out this knife I made. It's all carved, hand carved, by yours truly, except for that, the heart right there, I actually dremeled that out. And I was sweating the entire time, thinking I was going to ruin the whole project, but it worked out okay. This is called the Heart of the Broad. I created this uh, purely myself, just out of my own brain, didn't have anything to go on except something I drew on a piece of paper, and um, it came out um, kind of past my expectations. A lot nicer than I was expecting it to when I began working on it. But um, anyways, I just wanted to show it to you guys. I'm going to be making more of these kinds of things in the future that are definitely going to be knife related. So um, I'll keep, uh, keep you guys informed of all that and maybe I might even plan to auction one off um, to, to get some money for travel costs, for knife competitions and all that kind of stuff. So anyways, that's it. All right, before I get to my featured knife thrower and knife maker, I wanted to tell you guys about a lady by the name of Kelly Grove. She had contacted me over Facebook and told me all about a group that she formed out of her basement about a year ago. And her group is called Wives with Knives. How cool is that? They are a group of working moms in their early 40s and they throw knives using the rotational method at several distances in her basement and they play angry music while they do it and I'm thinking to myself which she's when I'm reading all this I'm like man I need to I need to join this group they actually have a newsletter a Facebook page and a website I'm gonna put all that information down below but you guys get to check these ladies out they are hilarious 
and they have hilarious nicknames. Some of their nicknames include Clove Grove, Bullseye Betty, and Ballsack Blua. You heard me right. <laughs> Anyways, go check those ladies out. So my featured knife thrower today is a gentleman by the name of Lee Molson, and he is phenomenal. Like, unbelievable skills to like a degree that I cannot even fathom inside of my brain. My brain just doesn't go to that level. It's unreal what that man can do. Not only is he like the most creative person I've ever encountered in my life, but he is also um, extremely talented on so many levels. Uh, artistically, um, just the things that he creates is just mind-blowing. You guys really need to go check out his channel, uh, give him a like and a follow, and trust me. He's also an extremely active member in the Kick-Ass Knife Throwing group on Facebook. By the way, if you haven't joined Kick-Ass Knife Throwing, you should do that as well because that is uh, a group that I run uh, with a lady by the name of Zolette. If you don't know who she is in the knife throwing community, well then you're just, I don't know slipping under a rock or something. Anyways, back to Lee. I wanted to read you something that he sent to me. It just struck me so amazingly. It just blew me away, kind of because it's a little bit of the way I think as well. Um, and I've noticed that him and I think a lot alike. Uh, mentally, I'm a pretty creative person myself. Not nearly as far gone as Lee is, but um, I could definitely relate to these words, so I wanted to read it to you real quick. In his message, he wrote, I'm an artist and find inspiration in the simplest of things in day-to-day -day life. From my little assemblage art sculptures, from items found in my travels, or my latest video hitting throne creamers blindfolded, they were there and caught my attention. Ten creamers for a buck. I never know when or where inspiration will strike, but I'm a very creative person, so it doesn't take much. If you wanted me to narrow it down, I would say my biggest inspiration is a lost cause. I love breathing new life into old, tired, and broken antiques that others deem junk. I love proving people wrong when they say something cannot be done, and I'm usually the last person to admit defeat. Where there is a will, there is a way. I love that. Back in October 2015, Lee received a 1960 Sheffield throwing knife that he believes was designed by a man named John Edwards. That particular throwing knife was inherited to Lee as part of his grandfather's estate, and it no doubt struck a chord. And not too shortly after that, other opportunities had followed. Funny how life works that way. And soon thereafter, he joined forces with two people, a gentleman named Christopher Campbell, who also goes by the name of Phoenix Fire, and Cat Catastrophe Kroksuk, AKA Lady Catastrophic. I like that name. And together they formed SinLab Productions. Check out their YouTube channel. They do some amazing stunts, fire breathing, knife throwing, all sorts of crazy stuff. It is really, really awesome. Neat to see, you gotta check it out. All right, that's enough of my babbling. Let's watch Lee's video, cause it's gonna blow your socks off.
How amazing was that? What an awesome production. The film, the music, the talent, unreal. I will put all of their information down below in the description so that you guys can go find them and give them a follow and like and all that good stuff. Send all the love to them. They deserve it. They work really hard. They're good people. And I'm proud, proud to feature them here. All right, let's move on. It's time to talk about Flying Steel. Based out of Boyertown, Pennsylvania, Patrick Brewster established the company Flying Steel in 2007. Since that time, Flying Steel has become one of the largest American-made producers of throwing knives. And Patrick's knives have been used to win five different IKT HOF knife throwing competitions in the no spin category. Five! He was also nominated for 2016 Knife Maker of the Year by the IKT HOF. Since I started throwing knives, I've heard nothing but positive things about Flying Steel. Patrick's commitment to customer service and quality is unmatched. He's a stand-up guy, a father, a musician, a hard worker, and I'm proud to call him my friend. Here are just a few of my Flying Steel knives. And here are several others. By the way, that reminds me, I'm so glad that you all are here and you're taking time out of your day to watch my videos. And um, I'm also, as you know, a big fan of Flying Steel, so I've decided to do my own bladed rod giveaway. And a uh, lucky winner will be selected to win a $40, basically, gift credit on Flying Steel's website towards uh, a knife of their choice. And it's my gift to you guys for being so awesome, so supportive so positive and uh, all the love that I've received. I just want to give it all back. In order to enter the contest, all you need to do is like this video, comment down below, and share it. And if you share the video on Instagram or Facebook, all I ask is that you please tag me in it so that I can enter you into the contest. And then five days from the published date of this video on YouTube, which you can see right below next to the description, I will randomly pick a winner. So good luck. Well that about wraps it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Flying Steel and to Lee Molson for letting me feature them both. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did while making it. Until next time. Hey old how? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you guys are going to love this episode. You are not going to shut. This is going to be the best broadcast ever. One of the things in speaking. <clears throat> <clears throat>